Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is self-signed SSL certificate. If you want to set up a secure website, you can pay to get a SSL certificate from commercial certificate authorities or CAs, such as GoDaddy, Symantec, or Komodo. A SSL certificate for a single site normally costs less than a hundred dollars per year. You can also create your own certificate for free. This is called self-signed certificate. A self-signed certificate is signed by the same entity, and it can be created for free using Open SSL, Java's Key Tool, or Adobe Reader. Then, what's the difference between commercial certificates and self-signed certificates? When you use a self-signed certificate, you are telling your users, "Trust me, because I am who I say I am." When you use a certificate signed by GoDaddy, for example. You are saying, "Trust me, because GoDaddy says I am who I say I am." Another difference is that the digital certificate from Commercial CA is already known to your browser. When you go to a such a site, HTTPS and Green Padlock will show in your URL bar. They do. Make the site looks good and more trustworthy. On the other hand, with a self-signed certificate for your site, users will notice a big red warning, telling them that your site should not be trusted. This is definitely a not good image for your website. For this very reason, many users tend to think. Self-signed certificates are less secure than those signed by commercial CAs, but this is not true. First of all, the word "secure" is misleading. The HTTPS and the padlock simply indicate that the identity of the website is certified by a trusted third party. And the traffic between your browser and web server are encrypted. That's all. It does not mean your computer won't get hacked by using the website. It does not guarantee your personal data won't get stolen. The truth is, if a self-signed certificate is distributed and installed. In the browsers that will use your site, it is just as secure as commercial certificates. Obviously, the limitation for your self-signed certificate is that it can be only feasible for a few people. If your site is only for a group of people, not for the general public, a self-signed certificate. Works just fine. Thank you very much, and see you next time.